Hello, golf ladies and gentlemen. Uh, it's highly interesting news on the side of the Leaf Golf um, Power Rankings. How the 12 teams will finish in Miami. It's written by the Mike, uh, Mike Allister, and Mike is making predictions about the um, final results of these highly interesting events. Uh, some time ago, um, in the February, June and uh, March of uh, 2022, I have made some videos about the competition, of the friendly competition in the Power Rankings battle with uh, Rob Bolton predictions. And even in one of them, uh, the players 2022, um, my results were a little bit better than, uh, than Rob. And in this connection, I have decided that maybe it's a very good timing to make something like that uh, for the power rankings, which were made by the uh, Mike uh, McAllister. So, uh, it's not so big difference uh, between uh, my understanding of the situation and the uh, Mike understanding, uh, but uh, anyway, it's some kind of difference, uh, certainly. So, uh, um, if we are talking about the mm, leaders, uh, so uh, Mike decided that the crushes will win uh, uh, these events, and I am deciding that uh, mm, uh, four aces will win. Uh, on the first position, Mike uh, is referables for Mike and smash uh, golf club for me. So the four aces on the third position for Mike and uh, um, crushes on the third position for me and smash on the fourth position for uh, Mike and uh, fair balls on the fourth position for me. And this connection we're expecting the same, fa uh, same finalists uh, 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 with Mike, but uh, uh, just uh, uh, deciding that they will be on a little bit different positions. Uh, what uh, is my idea of making such kind of predictions? Uh, it's uh, relative on the fact of the difference between short-term performance and short-term expectations and long-term performance and long-term expectations. For example, in the case of the smash, I need to say golf club. I need to say that first of all, the short-term performance of the, during the last event uh, when uh, Brooks Kopke have, uh, was a winner and on the section, second position um, was his teammate uh, Uli. Uh, just a second, please. Okay. Uh, he's talking us that, uh, for example, winning of Brooks on the last event was also um, you know some kind of the under expectation of the of his uh, long term performance in the golf uh, with his not so excellent short results before that event and in this connection the winning of the Brooks was in some cases something not so highly expected not so highly viewed by the uh, uh, golf uh, community and in this case it seems that currently the short term performance of uh, the Brooks and his team is uh, related with he, the long-term potential of this team. In this connection, I have decided that they will be on the second position. In some cases, for me, it's not so, um, you know, that's maybe hugely reasonable to expect that four aces will win, because, um, but uh, from the other side, the four aces um, is also a little bit undervalued, in my opinion. Uh, exactly the short uh, long term performance of the golfers such as the mm, Taylor Gooch and uh, the mm, uh, Patrick Reed because it seems that they are very much more stronger golfers than their last performance in this connection I ex expecting that in the uh, final uh, position uh, they will be mm, uh, you know that uh, stronger than they were before it um, I think that uh, they are just uh, trying to feel the situation in the Leaf Golf and in this connection I am expecting that the next season and maybe exactly this event the Taylor Gooch and uh, Patrick Reed will play m maybe more, much more, maybe a little bit more better than they did it during the last two events.
Uh, so the crosses. Um, I'm not expecting that the crosses will be in the on uh, will win. It seems that uh, before the last event, certainly the crosses maybe have more reasons to win. But it seems that uh, currently the four balls and uh, the um, smash uh, golf team and uh, the uh, four aces were better than crosses in this connection. I'm expecting that the crosses will be on the short position, but not on the first one. Uh, fair balls. It's a very good team, but I'm expecting that they will that they will be. Um, on the fourth position in the final uh, because maybe not all golfers in this team are you know that have experience in the uh, in the winning in such events exactly in the form of the uh, of the um, uh, team uh, competitions so uh, if we are talking uh, about the semi-finals the only difference between me and uh, Mike is um, you know that I'm going to give some chances for such teams as a punch because I seem think that in punch exactly the situation when uh, we have the uh, undervaluation of the long-term performance of uh, uh, some members of the team and uh, exactly one of them um, just a second. Mark Lichman. Because it seems that Mark have much more better long-term performance than uh, during his first stages in the... Where is he? Too high for him. Yes, he is just on the 84th position with uh, six points only, which were raised in Bangkok. In this connection, it's understandable that uh, um, Mike have decided that uh, Mark um, have not uh, many reasons to, to win uh, against. He will play against uh, Matthew Wolf, who is uh, perfectly playing in the uh, exactly in the leaf golf. And this connection is reasonable to expect that Wolf will win. But from the other side, I think that uh, uh, Lichman have a very strong motivation exactly for winning in this event. And uh, I think that his ambitions and his quality of the game, given him in his experience and given him many chances to be very competitive against uh, Matthew Wolf. And this connection, I am expecting that um, uh, Cameron Smith will win, maybe easily win against uh, Phil Mickelson. And I think that uh, Lichman will, will, will win against Wolf. I'm not sure about the Winsberg Tringale against Jones and uh, Omsby because you know that Winsberg is very strong indeed and in this connection it seems that uh, maybe in this event um, the uh, uh, High Flyers team have uh, more reasons for winning. So uh, in this case it's uh, maybe my one of my uh, risky you know the beats and second my risky beat is certainly maybe even more risky beat is the beating for the iron heads against majestics uh, because i think that uh, the mm -mm, exactly the kim is little bit undervalued also and he have shown a very good performance during the last two or three events in the leaf golf and it seems that he is rising his confidence and it seems that he he's ready to struggle with uh, even with with the Lee Westwood, and plus that uh, I think that the t in team competitions, uh, the um, Iron Heads have uh, not a preference, but they they are very competitive because you know that those two golfers um, from the Asian Tour they are playing 
score perfectly and it seems that they can give a battle to the um, um, Hotsfeld, uh, Horford, Svold and uh, Stenson. Um, in, in some cases the Stenson performance is and, uh, overwhelmed because he was the winner of one of the um, live golf events in the individual stands and in this connection it seems that um, his short performance is on, uh, overwhelmed against his uh, you know that middle time performance his performance during the last three or four years because during the last three or four years uh, he couldn't show such a, an, an excellent results and in the one of the stages of the leaf golf and um, so it seems that it's only the difference but i'm not sure i'm sure that uh, when the choosing of in the semi final will be made will made um, i think that uh, first of all four aces will choose the iron heads as the competitor uh, uh, the um, crushes uh, will uh, take the torque as a competitor fair balls will take the punch as competitors and in these connections the stingers will need to play with the uh, smash golf uh, club team so it's my expectations and uh, the last point is the calculation of the results I think that uh, mm, the total sum uh, of the price money will be the same for both teams in this connection it's not so highly interesting so the price money will be distributed just in such a situation when the if the crushes will win uh, the mm, Michael team will receive uh, and as many points as this position of the crushes so it seems that it's 16 millions if four aces will win i will receive 16 millions if any other team will um I, price points only not money certainly um if uh, any other team will win not mike not my team not mike's team not my team will not receive anything from this position the same situation with all other positions and in this connection the winner will be mm, choice by the more money which were made exactly from the positions uh, which were taken by the teams so in this connection um, i think that uh, it will be quite interesting funny and uh, you know but from the other side it's informative um, in the game um so i hope that uh, it will be you know that it's rising my motivation to viewing of this event and, uh, and my interest in rising exactly because i'm making such a kind of friendly and uh, free bidding and if it's interesting for you you can make it the same way and i think that it uh, will be highly interesting if you will make such any kind of predictions please stay them in the comments to this video thank you very much uh, have a good golf have a good leave golf and uh, the golf all over the golf thank you bye bye